Steve, thank you. Well, the northbound lanes of Interstate 81 are still closed this morning, as Steve just mentioned, in Schuylkill County as emergency crews clear the wreckage from that deadly pileup. 69 News reporter Allie Reed is joining us live from the scene in Foster Township with the latest. Allie. Right, Hasiel Eve, throughout the morning here on the Sunrise Show, I have been reporting that from the crash yesterday, there were three deaths. Now that number has devastatingly increased to five deaths. Now, as we continue to report on this throughout the morning here, keep in mind the initial impact happened around 1030 yesterday morning. It has been hours as first responders are still here on scene. And again, just take a look at this wreckage. They tell me they're only about 40% cleared of the damage here, the wreckage that just continues to wreak havoc as multiple different entities are here working to remove pieces by piece a lot of these cars and trucks that are just completely in pieces. Now, it adds from there, there are more than 20 others that were injured after a snow squall moved throughout the region. As cleanup and help continues, that number may continue to go up on both ends as more than 50 vehicles were involved in this. Again, officials are blaming weather conditions in the area as the main cause. A snow squall moved through the region, creating whiteout conditions for drivers. Painted the roads white with snow, and then that, you know, all it takes is one car to crash, two cars to crash. There's no place for the traffic to go. Drivers who were not taken to the hospital were taken to a Wegmans distribution facility that was a convenient nearby location for emergency crews. State police say crews were working for hours to put out fires with water pumped from an overpass above the highway. Until they were able to get those out a lot and still at this point to this morning, they won't be able to get a full accounting of the exact damage. The Red Cross is also involved in helping people involved in the crash. Again, bringing it back now to to that live scene, just a, a devastating scene here this morning. Again, just reiterating that throughout the morning, we were reporting three deaths. Again, that number has now risen to five. And I know a lot of people tuning in at home or watching on social media. This has just been devastating to say the least as we see just such a, a significant crash like this happen around this time. But we'll continue to update you as the Sunrise Show pushes on throughout the morning here. But for now, live here in Schuylkill County, Allie Reed, six 69 News. Back to you.